Hi, Vilna here, and I am just so excited to bring you a brand new art journal page. And um, I'm just running you through a quick look of how I printed my illustration with the silhouette software you print out of it. With your printer, you make sure that your registration marks are on there. And then you look how beautiful this printer printed it so so happy and then you put it on your mat and you click send to silhouette and you feed it into your machine and voila it prints so I do have a little tutorial on my youtube channel where I show you a little bit more how to make your cut files and everything but this, this is just to show you it's really easy it's simple and I love it so this is the illustration I'm, I'll be using. So I printed two and uh, just straightening my workspace here. And now we are going to start. So first of all, I'm going to prime my page with a little gesso. And the, this just is to form a little barrier between the media and the paper. And I love priming my pages and I always do it. And you just want to scrape it off with a little bit, um, not a little bit, with the card. So I use an old Amazon gift card. Your husband's credit card works the best, people. Okay, and then I'm going to print my background with a jelly plate. So I'm, you can see the jelly plate there on the left side of my screen. And I'm just using some Conacredo Magenta and white and I'm just going to roll it up so I will be making um, two pages and the, in the next the next video I'll show you the process for the other one but if you followed me a little bit you know that I like to do the same thing and just uh, and and it's always interesting to me even if I do it on two pages or four pages or six pages it turns out differently you know just a little bit more paint so I, I'm starting off by printing my background with my jelly plate and I wanted to do it in pink so that part I knew right from the get-go I just wanted to do it in pink so I'm inking it up you can see how beautiful is this um, ombre effect it's really amazing how well you can do it and now I'm just printing the background so a few things here you can see my books are obviously not flat because I've been working in them so much that side's a little better but other than that you know the um, it didn't print perfectly and that's fine because in the end I want some mark makings and I want some texture and and on my page so that didn't bother me in the least here you can see the the illustrations that I created and it's for sale on iHeart Studio and there's five of them and I'm using two in in my art journals today one for this video one for the next one and I actually printed them fairly big so that was printed on a eight and a half by eleven page so you can actually see that it you can print it very big and uh, I'm just checking my color. I'm I love the ombre, like I said, effect. And now I'm thinking I want to um, do a little bit of stenciling, but I want it very subtle. So I decided to use some light molding paste. And what I did differently is that I really used a very thin layer. So I just wanted a very thin layer of light molding paste because A, I um, didn't want my book to bulk up too much and B, I wanted it to dry fairly quickly. So it doesn't look like a thin layer, but it is. So I just decided to, to quickly do that and then I'll do it on that side as well. I'm just keeping the edge lift it up a little so that it doesn't smudge the other side and then I'm just smoothing out the parts in the middle and now you just want to let this dry 
and then we'll come back and we'll paint. So I decided to paint the top with Prussian blue and I'm just using Liquitex acrylic ink and just made a little line and now I'm just going to wet my brush and then I'm just going to let the paint flow. So this will be um, the well the third layer of the page. So another thing that I just want to say I actually didn't want to overwork anything on these pages so I really really put in a very conscious effort to work as minimalistic as possible. I decided that it should be fairly quick and I just wanted to use a couple of techniques so not layer upon layer upon layer right. So I decided to keep it very minimalistic I have to focus on the illustration and on nothing else. Okay, now you can just use a baby wipe or a little bit um, of paper towel and just mop up what you don't want to use and then let this dry. So while this is drying, I decided to paint my illustrations with a little bit of gl gloss varnish. So I just put it on a piece of... Um, background that and I use the big brush and lots of gloss varnish and I'm just going to paint it from the inside out and fairly light so I'm not using the brush very hard on the illustration. I did use pigment ink to print it so it wouldn't flow it wouldn't smudge you know the colors. If your printer is dye ink you might have a little bit of a problem with the colors smudging but and also I printed these illustrations on sticker paper and I used the Cricut brand because my local Michaels didn't sell the Silhouette Cameo brand so I just used the Cricut sticker paper which is a white paper with a backing and if you take it off it sticks so it's awesome. Now just let this dry for a couple minutes and then we can go ahead and use it. So now you can see how beautiful the paint dried. The water colors, the, or the, no, the acrylic ink is almost like a watercolor and how it just flowed. And now I'm just going to add my, my sticker actually. And because I'm going to put it in the middle of the page, just a little bit towards the, the right side, I will be cutting it because otherwise your book won't close properly and it will squish the paper. I just always cut my illustrations when I um, spread them over two pages. So now I'm just removing the backing and it works great. I love, love, love sticker paper. I am actually bought two packets of it. It, all of a sudden it's just so easy for me to to print something and to stick it down it's almost like having scrapbook products or just you know available at any time so it just makes it so easy there you can see you just take it off and now you can just stick it down and voila so easy and it actually looks very nice as it is that page and I couldn't be more happy with how the pages turned out. Both of them, you know, this one and the other one that I will share soon. I did have a little bit of varnish left over that wasn't dried yet. So I decided to give this illustration a quick brush with a second layer of varnish. And then maybe it will just adhere to the rest of the page as well a little. So that's just something that you can do and if if your illustration pulls away which it will because it doesn't always stick well on things like light molding paste you can just add a little mod patch or even a hot glue to stick it down but for the most part I felt that it stayed you know on the page Okay, and now I'm going to start um, finishing up my page 
and I'm going to paint with um, a light green so you can see there's a white and yellow paint already on my little palette and now I'm just adding a little bit of the vivid green ink and thylacinine green and a little bit more white and I'm just gonna mix it up so let's see what color I wanted a light bright green with a touch of yellow in it and that looks fairly nice just a little bit of turquoise ink I love to mix in the um, the, the inks with my heavy body acrylic paint and that way you get a very opaque you know look so that's what I'm wanting and now I'm just gonna paint it and I, I didn't want to paint the white underneath the illustration so I left that but for the rest I decided just to go ahead and do what I feel I wanted to do always been the kind of thing that knocked me off my feet Until you came and picked me up I, I never really understood what people meant by wait and see But now I'm seeing all the things that we could be Oh, you and me Tell me why Love can't always be this easy time Seems to stand still when you're standing near me I've spent my whole life second guessing everything But now I'm sure It's you that I've been waiting for Exactly how we planned But I'll always be right there to hold you I promise that I'm gonna love you as long as I can Oh, with everything I am, just tell me why Love can't always be this easy time Seems to stand still when you're standing here Guessing everything, but now I'm sure it's you that I've been waiting for. Oh, 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 Love can't always be this easy time Seems to stand still when you're standing near me I spent my whole life second guessing everything But now I'm sure It's you that I've been waiting for So obviously you can see I mixed in another little bit of paint with a little bit more yellow. I just want this slight lighter color so that if I paint over that light aqua color it will show up. And then I decided to paint into those little splashes that I made with the yellow paint. And I love that. I really do. I loved how it just brightened everything up. So. I'm very mindful actually in um, 
and it started with those little paintings that I posted on my YouTube channel in that video the markings of the paintbrush you know just to to really be a little bit more mindful of my, making markings actually with my paintbrush and so I'm just gonna paint into that yellow which is beautiful and I like it because it just brightens everything up it's like sunshine shining onto this little page and maybe you don't see it that way but I love it I love the brightness the warmth of it and I was absolutely delighted when with where, where it was going and like I said earlier I really wanted to leave the bottom part blank and just leave it the 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 bareness of it it's just beautiful so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to print with my jelly plate and do a little bit of um stamping with the jelly plate on the um, my art journal page and i've and i love doing this because it gives me so much more control versus stamping directly on the the page where you don't know what the outcome is going to be what well with the jelly plate you know exactly what the outcome is going to be so you just want to um maybe get a second little um palette and ink up your roller there and then use it on the jelly plate so i am just going to um i'm just using a black paint that is actually paints gray but it looks really black and now I'm just going to roll it up, the words. My um, roller was a little bit too much paint, but I decided I like the smudging. So I'm just going to go ahead and stamp with that. Love it. And then I decided to do a second stamp. It's really like you can make your own stamps. So this actually is opening up a whole new world for me because sometimes you just wish that you have you know you can have a specific stamp whether it's words or texture or flowers or whatever you know so and this this makes it possible so just inking it up again and you can do this in any color you don't have to do it in black I just wanted something with a little bit of contrast. That's the reason why I decided to do it in black. And this works perfectly every single time. What you see on your jelly plate is what you're going to get, you know. And that's just something that I love. Uh, just knowing exactly what's going to happen. This stencil is a little... Um, it's a little texture stencil that I designed and you can find it in the um, artist trading card little collection on iHeart Studio. I'll have a link for you in the description part of the video and you can just find it there and I used just the 12 by 12 page and I did all the stencil cutting with my silhouette cameo and that way you know you can create your own stencils you can do it yourself you know so it's just amazing i i think a whole new world opened up for me like i said so now i just want to do a little bit um, of white stenciling as well so this is the next part and i i just wanted to try that see how white shows up you know and uh it actually works fantastic but you have to use a heavy body acrylic paint to stamp with white because the Liquitex um, Basics is a very transparent paint so you need something a little bit more opaque to show up and that's just a little tip for you. I will be um, journaling on my page and and just writing things down but Honestly, I know I say this a lot, but these are some of my absolute favorite art journal pages I've ever made. I love the colors. I love how happy it is. And I do think it has everything to do with the illustrations. 
Um, they look like a, um, painted acrylic flowers and I love that. So this is the page and I think I'm all done now. And um, I just want to thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me and probably hearing the same thing over and over again. But guess what? I have another video coming up after this one and uh, it, it will be the same thing again with just a little different outcome. And here you can see the details and I hope that you create with me and show me tag me on instagram i would love to see have a wonderful day and i'll see you around on the internet bye